guys, today I'm going to be talking about something that I've been getting into the past couple of months and I know I haven't made a YouTube video in a while and I know this is a whole new setup and what are these random two plants in this yellow chair doing here? I will explain this all later, but today I'm going to be talking about something that actually matters to me and it should probably matter to you and hopefully it is if you're watching this video. Today I'm going to be talking about sustainability and going green and caring about this place that we live on. So I'm going to give a quick caveat, caveat, I am A, just getting into this, all this stuff. So I know there's people that are like, I can't even so look at a plastic bottle, I'm not there. <laughs> And there's also some people that maybe don't even see this as important, and I don't know if you'd be watching this, because if you don't see it as important, why would you watch this? But, I mean, there's very opposite sides of the spectrum, and I am just getting into this, like I said, so cut me some slack. <laughs> this is just an intro to sustainability and going um, low waste and things like that. I, it confuses me that, I, okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm even afraid to talk about this because I know people are going to get upset and I don't get it. My friends, my family, they all have their opinions and I just don't know. I have some friends too that are like me that are like, I don't know. I personally am not very political. I don't know much about politics. It's bad, potentially, but also I feel like if you get super into it, you're just pissed off all the time. I don't know why being low waste is political, or wanting to recycle is political. My family doesn't necessarily always understand the need to care for the planet, and I don't get it. And not only my family, I don't even know what I'm saying, I just don't get it. My eyes have been opened and I don't get how it's political. How is it political? I understand that some people agree that global warming isn't or isn't a thing. I, that confuses me also. <laughs> What I'm doing today shouldn't be political, is what I'm trying to say. I don't get why it is. I'm not trying to like push any agenda on you. I am pretty just hands off on politics. And I'm just trying to say that because on a lot of videos like this, politics can be involved and that's not what I'm all at all doing. And if I continue to make these videos because it's something that I'm becoming sort of like a passion of mine, it's not political and it's not meant to be. So that I, I just wanted to say that because it's frustrating how talking about stuff like this can get political and people can make assumptions like if you talk about going green they're like oh then you're like super liberal and then if you don't care about going green then you're super conservative it's like it why is this political i don't get it anyways hi welcome to my channel i'm going to talk to you about being sustainable <laughs> okay that was a weird intro and i'm sorry i just had to get it out there because this is my first video talking about this and i just it confuses me I, my major in college, I'm almost graduated, I have one more semester left, I'm majoring in global tourism. This last semester, I had a professor, it was interesting because the class was titled something different, it should have been titled sustainability, it wasn't about, sus it wasn't about the class name at all, and I thought it was going to be like issues among like countries and stuff, it wasn't, it was just like about sustainability. It was very eye-opening, we watched lots of videos, we talked about being sustainable, like within tourism specifically, because um, that's the class in the major, but it was very eye-opening. And now I get it. Now I get, now I get it. I don't know. Hello, I have a few things to say that I realized I didn't talk about. Sustainability is not only about recycling and not using plastics, which we also learned about in this class. Sustainability is about fair trade and equal rights. I, there, it, it, there's so much depth to it. If you look up the SDGs, Look up SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals. That will give some goals that companies or countries can do to be more sustainable. Look that up. But I'm just letting you know, I realized that I didn't cover that sustainability means so much more than just like not using plastic, but it's also like not buying clothes from people that use like child labor. And I know that, and maybe I'll make a video about that later. I didn't mean to like peace sign to like mock that. I meant I'm just digging myself in a hole. Sustainability means so much more and it's so complicated and I don't even talk about it that much in this video. I just want to let you know. Okay, bye. I can make a whole video about that separate. I don't know. I'm just trying to give an intro to sustainability and how how you can do very small things to just do a little bit of a difference. Or a lot of bit of a difference for a single person because people suck and use. Okay. I'm just rambling. Yes. So how I got into this is from a class that I took last semester. And moving forward, I have been watching videos on YouTube, researching and things like that. Um, researching by just like Googling. <laughs> but the idea for me of being sustainable is using A, getting rid of all that I can see single-use plastics. So what is single-use plastics? It's something that you use once and then throw it away. 
So some examples that I have been, and it doesn't even have to be plastics, just single use products. So straws are the big thing that everybody's like, oh my gosh, save the turtles. There's so much more. It's dumb because people will put their metal straw into like a plastic Starbucks cup and are like, I'm saving the turtles. So it's like, I'm glad you're not using a straw that's making a difference. Like you should still not use straws, but it's like you're putting it into a plastic cup. Like there it's, people are just focusing on straws right now, which are important because straws are useless. You don't need a straw but the plastic cup you're still using. So that's a single use plastic. Floss, like those flossers, I'm getting rid of mine, or well, I'm not getting rid of it, like throwing it away, because that'd be dumb. I'm using mine up, but then I'm gonna not get them anymore. Cotton rounds, I have an alternative with me today. Plastic bags, Ziplocs, anything like that. Things that you use once and throw it away. Can be plastic or can't be. Like cotton rounds are cotton, but you use it once and throw it away. So that's my main focus on how I got started. I was like, I want to get rid of stuff that I only use once and throw it away because that's wasteful. I'm getting rid of plastic in general. Now, I when I go to the grocery store, I still buy things in plastic. Um, and that's something that I'm going to slowly work on, but if I just jump right to it, I think I'll get burned out. So um, I'm not using produce bags anymore. I'm not using plastic bags anymore. I'm not getting produce that's already pre-packaged in plastic bags. Um, and I just don't want to get bombarded by people that say if you're really into sustainability and like zero waste and you're watching this video, you're probably cringing. This is an intro, a beginner's guide. <laughs> that's something I'm working on. And three, something that I'm working on is just being aware of what I use and like, do I need this? And being aware of what you're throwing away. So that's how I've been getting started, is plastic, single-use stuff, and being conscientious of what I'm throwing away. So, all that said, I have some products today that I have been using that are super simple, let me tell you, because like I said, I'm a beginner. Super simple, and also are cheaper. I don't know why people aren't doing this, because instead of buying things, you buy one thing that's reusable. So it's better for the environment, and it's cheaper. And if anything, if people are just doing it because it's cheaper, it's helping the environment, they might not have the great greatest motivations, but if anything, it's cheaper. So I don't know why people aren't doing it. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So I have some things here that I'm gonna show you that are things that you can buy or make the switch to slowly in order to become more sustainable and zero waste. Now, quick disclaimer. When I first started watching these videos, I was like, this is so many extra things you have to buy. And luckily, I didn't own a lot of this stuff or its bad counterpart. So me buying one, I bought the sustainable one. But if you own like plastic or bad versions of all these things, you can make the switch slowly or you don't have to buy these things. Just don't use the things you're already using or wait till the things you're already using breaks and then buy a new one. You don't have to throw away your perfectly good thing to buy a new thing. And I'll get into that into a second. But let's, let me just start. So the first thing that's super easy to do is get, um, I don't have one with me because they're all in my car. But a reusable grocery shopping bag. Um, they're usually around a dollar, so pretty cheap, and at least everywhere that I shop you get 10 cents off when you use reusable bags. So if you use a reusable bag 10 times, it already pays itself off. So it's kind of coincides with this is reusable produce bags. So I have a couple types here and I have pros and cons with each type. So the first type that I started out with are these muslin bags from Simple Ecology. Um, they are cotton, and it came with this um, when I bought it online, so it came with this one also. I bought these, and they started getting gross. This one's nice because it, it has holes in it, it's a little mesh. It's thick, and so I like to keep my produce in the bags, and then I put them in the fridge just to keep them contained. Um, but if you're to use these, I would say to not keep the produce or veggies or herbs or whatever in the bags when you're using these because... Um, some of mine got gross on the bottom and I tried washing them and it, it stayed gross so I had to throw them away because it was asparagus and then it kind of contained me the other ones. I think maybe the asparagus got bad and I didn't notice because it, it was in the back of the fridge. Anyways, that was my bad but I'm trying to be honest with you and show you my mistakes. So that was a waste and that sucks because I ordered on Amazon, it came in packaging, I bought these things that are supposed to be helpful but then they went to waste because I suck. But I'm trying to be honest on here and I hope I don't get a lot of criticism. Thanks, okay, bye. So you can buy these, but I don't love them as much because they're not perforated. It came with this free one when I bought them on Amazon. These are better. These ones are amazing. I got these from a friend. They are by Vanduna. I'm not sure where she got these. There are three different sizes. I only have two with me because the rest are in my car and it came in like a big package. 
But yeah, these are great because you can keep the produce in them and they, they allow the produce to breathe still. So it's not like trapping them in a cotton bag where there's not a lot of airflow and they get gross. So I like these a lot more. So I would suggest these for produce bags. Now something to note, you don't have to use a produce bag. You can just throw your apples in your cart and that works just as fine. And sometimes I would like, especially these big ones, like I'd put a thing of cilantro and a thing of green onion. And just when I'm checking out, if it's not a self checkout, because whenever I use things like this, I try to do the self checkout to not have the Clark have to struggle with like, what is this? And why is there three different things in one bag? It can be annoying and I, and I recognize that. So what I do is when I'm checking out, I'll say, oh, this, this has cilantro and green onion. And then they'll do it that way. And I haven't had a problem with someone being like, um, excuse me, ma'am, you can't do this. No one's told me that thus far. Okay, we're gonna just continue with grocery shopping for now. The next is buying in bulk. So if you have, I, these are from Sprouts. So Sprouts has bulk, there's Lucky's Market all throughout Colorado, they have bulk, Whole Foods. Um, I know there's Lake Winds in Minnesota, when I lived in there, they had bulk. Um, or there's specific bulk stores, which I haven't gone to yet, but someday I will and I will vlog it. Um, but this is basically just where, say if you've ever been to a Sprouts, which is where these are from. They have these big bins of like a lot of peanuts, or make your own trail mix, or they have flour, or things like that, or olive oil that you pour into like your own container. They do have their own plastic containers. But the things with Sprouts is these were a dollar. They are muesli bags, which I know I said I didn't want to use, but um, these are nice because Sprouts is saying buy bulk and save a bag. So they actually advertise this and the tear is 0.05, so the Clark attendant knows. I used this for oatmeal and now I'll probably just have to continue using this for oatmeal because there's like oats on the bottom and I don't know how to, I guess I could throw this in the wash. Um, but I bring this now, and so this has oats, and then this has pistachios in it. And it's really great because Sprouts not only has bulk section, but is encouraging you to use your own bag. So that's really cool. Yeah, also bulk is a lot cheaper sometimes. Sometimes it's not a better deal, and I understand if like it's really tight on money. But like the oats, it was a dollar fifty to fill up this entire thing, and like a thing of oats, just like raw oats, because I use it for oatmeal. Um, was way more expensive. So sometimes buying bulk is even cheaper and it's better for the world. So, so that's it for the grocery store. Next I'll move on to just kitchen. You don't need paper towels. I would like to challenge you to not use paper towels for a week and see how it goes. What I did is when I moved here, I moved with a tape paper towel roll that I had, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna put it under the sink and see how often I have to reach down there. Yeah, we don't need paper towels. We're just used to it. When I first heard that, where it's like, you don't need to use a paper towel. I was like, excuse me, I love my paper towels. Like I don't waste them like other people where it's like you grab eight just to like wipe up a small spill. But it was it was weird for me to make the initial switch, but now like, I don't use paper towels. So the alternative is also a gift that that um, lady gave me when she got me the reusable produce bags. She even got me these. These are reusable paper towels. Now these are somewhat disposable. And she said in the note, because it, it was a little packaged gift and I, I almost cried. I was like, this is the sweetest gift everyone's given me. It was all sustainable stuff and she didn't even know I was into this. She wrote on the note, she said, I thought these were more um, longer lasting than they are. So these each like square, like this is a whole square because see that's perforated, you rip it off. Each square lasts about one to three weeks, I think they said. Um, and I've ripped off the first one and here it is. So you get them wet and it, it, it breaks down and it's much more like paper towel feely. And you put these in the dishwasher. So every time I run the dishwasher, I throw this in and it's kind of on its last leg. It's stinky, it's stained, and this is about almost a month old. So I am gonna throw this one away and then rip off a new one. And it comes with a ton and it came in a plastic that you could recycle. It was like an obnoxious, thick, crunchy plastic that this came in. But it said it was made, plastic made from all recycled materials. So not ideal, but way better than actual paper towels um, are these. And there's not like a cardboard thing in the middle because there doesn't need to be. So this is a great um, alternative. And people that are not sustainable or don't care like I do, they agreed that this was actually kind of cool. And they're like, I could actually see myself using that. Not sure how much these were um, or anything. Like I said, they're a gift. I'm not sure if I'll buy these again or if I'll switch to like an actual, like you put in the um, washer and dryer and they last forever paper towel. But this is what I have for now. And it's actually really cool. And it's made of um, plant material too. So pretty good. Let's see, continuing the kitchen is tea bags. Tea comes in little bags. That's a single use thing. You, you, you put it and then you throw it away. Tea is single use, it, you know, um, but it's from the earth. 
it's a plant, so it will biodegrade, whereas a tea bag might not necessarily. So, just buy loose leaf tea, and I got these little steepers off Amazon, and you just stick this in, um, it's just like a silicone, the top comes off, so you stuff the tea in here, put on the top, put this in your mug for however long the tea is, and then it comes with a container to put the wet thing. Just get loose leaf tea instead of having to use tea bags. Easy switch, very easy, why not? Next thing is something that is again pretty simple, jars, um, which you can bring to the bulk place and say if you wanna make your own trail mix, you could put like the different components in different jars, reusable mugs and water bottles and things like that. Instead of going to a coffee shop and getting their plastic cup, whatever, and just say, hey, can you make my drink but in this? Or I have a bigger one too, I just didn't feel like grabbing it. Um, a bigger coffee mug in case it's like a big latte you're wanting to get, not just like um, drip, coffee drip? What's it called? I get boba tea a good amount and I have a bigger mason jar than this and next time I go I'm gonna bring them the big mason jar and say can you make it in this and then I will I have reusable boba straw bring jars when you go to places like a coffee shop or mugs depending if it's like cold or hot because you can make a cold drink in this so bring your own cups when you get drinks from like coffee or tea places with that so I bought this on Etsy and this is something you don't need and I'll explain why in a second I carry this in my purse and it fits at the bottom of my purse and this is a um, reusable, it's bamboo, what do you call this, silverware set? Utensils? So it has a fork, a spoon, a knife. It is chopsticks. It has a boba straw and then a regular straw and a straw cleaner. Why I bought this is A, I just wanted to do this. Uh, I wanted a reusable thing, but I really wanted the reusable boba straw because I love boba tea and there's a really good boba tea place near me. I was like a regular straw, like reusable straws are still in and I couldn't find a reusable boba straw for the life of me until like a couple months ago. Like I would search on Amazon and Etsy and they were nowhere to be found. So they're, they exist now. Um, and that's why I bought this set. It was maybe $13 or something. But what you don't, oh, I, I'll tell you the brand in case you want to buy it, I guess. Um, Muli Ecorec, M-U-L-I. You don't need this because you can just bring a regular fork, knife, and spoon wherever you go with you. You don't need a special bamboo reusable one. I bought it because I solely wanted a boba straw and I saw this kit and I said, you know what, I'll just buy it. But you don't have to. You can just bring your own fork along with you. Like when I go to Chipotle and I eat there, instead of getting their plastic fork, I just eat from this one. So it's nice when you're out to eat when you think like, oh, I'm out to eat. Like, of course, they just have metal silverware. Not always. Not if you're at fast casual, which is what us college students like. You can just bring your own metal fork from home. You don't need a special bamboo one. I just bought this, but specifically, um, if you want the whole kit, things like this is nice. Okay, we're just gonna keep with food and then I have a couple beauty things. So, glass Tupperware. It does have a plastic lid, but at least this is glass. So, this is something where if you already have plastic Tupperware, don't throw your perfectly good plastic Tupperware to get glass. That doesn't make sense. But if you're gonna buy Tupperware, buy glass because you're buying less plastic. Um, also something you can do is reuse Tupperware, okay, so like salsa, um, deli meats, things like that, they all come in perfectly good Tupperware that you can put in the dishwasher and reuse. At my house last year we had, um, someone got bulk like turkey or ham from like Hillshire Farm, and it came in a Tupperware that we would put in the dishwasher, I'd, I'd usually hand wash it just because it was a little thinner. But that's like a single use plastic that it's like, if you're buying that, just reuse that Tupperware. So that's a really cheap way, because if you're already gonna buy that meat, keep the Tupperware. So you don't need to buy specific glass Tupperware. If you're buying things like that that come in Tupperware, just use that. You know what I mean? Reuse your salsa thing. But glass Tupperware is nice, and this has replaced Ziplocs for me um, and Josh. So this I got in a set from Amazon. It came with three circles, three rectangles, and three squares, different like sizes. And the biggest rectangle, it's a little bigger than this, fits a sandwich perfectly and Josh brings that to work. This can replace uh, Ziplocs as well. I know there's thing called stashers, which I really want to get. Um, they are expensive though, so that's why I haven't bought them. It's like silicone Ziplocs, um, but I haven't bought them because they're expensive, so I've just been using glass or in jars. Like if I make a trail mix, I'll put it in a jar instead of a uh, um, Ziploc. <laughs> Okay, let's move on from food stuff. I'm done talking about it. Next, I'll talk about beauty. So the first thing I mentioned earlier is cotton rounds. So I got these reusable cotton rounds. This was from Etsy. It's like crocheted little circles. Um, but now you can buy cotton rounds like on Amazon um, that are like, they're not 
crocheted. They're just like little cotton squares or circles if you want them to be rounds. Another thing is you can just cut up an old t-shirt and use that as a cotton round if you don't want to spend money. I kind of liked having specific cotton rounds, so I did buy these. Um, but if you don't want to spend money, just use an old t-shirt. But I just keep this in this mug that I just randomly had. Um, and I just keep this near my sink and then I use this to like remove my makeup or to use my toner and then I use this is called like a lingerie or a laundry bag I wash like my bras and swimsuits in these um, but I have one specifically if you see at the bottom it's cotton rounds and I just throw these in the washer so I use one and then I'll use the other side and then I throw it in here and then I wash it and it's cheaper because it, in the long run because you buy these and then you don't have to ever buy cotton rounds again so I don't know if I'd use these with acetone for nail polish remover. I thought about that once. So I'm not sure if they can do that. But like face stuff or anything you'd normally use a cotton round, get reusable ones. The next bathroom thing is this, which is a pump. <laughs> um, this, you could reuse an old one as well. Again, I just didn't have soap, so I bought this and put bulk soap in it. So this is something that I was talking about, that if you're going to buy plastic, buy bulk. So I bought a big thing of hand soap and I refill this, and I have one for the kitchen as well. This is the one I have in the bathroom. So it's not great to buy plastic, but it's better to buy a big thing of plastic hand soap that it's like this big container you can reuse than a bunch of little hand soaps that would equate to more plastic than a big one, if that makes sense. Ideally, if you have a bulk store near you, you can just fill up soap that way, or bars of soap. I didn't think about that till after I had already bought both the bulk soap and this, but you can just use bar of soap. There's no packaging at all except like the wrapper it comes in. But like Sprouts and Whole Foods, I think Whole Foods always has a packageless soap selection. So I think next time I will do that. But this is better than just buying a new soap every time. But bars of soap would be the best and that's what I will do next time. Okay, I'm getting down to the last things. Please stay with me. Jar balls, I have to say something. I think they're cool, I dry them every time. I've tried not using dryer sheets and my clothes were staticky as fung. I don't understand, people are like, oh these are great, like, first off, you shouldn't put essential oils on these because essential oils are flammable. This doesn't get rid of the static, I don't know what people are on, I've tried it twice now and my clothes are horrible. So I'm, I'm still using the dryer sheets because I got a big box and again, don't just throw away a perfectly good box of dryer sheets, like I'm going to use them up at least. but. These don't get rid of the static, so if you know an actual way to get rid of the static, because these do not, these are 100% wool, I, I don't understand. So these I'm still very skeptical about. I still put them in the dryer because I think they like tumble your clothes better. But I don't understand. Hang dry many clothes because that's not using as much energy. And when you're washing clothes, just use, like my washer has tap cold as an option. You don't have to wash your clothes in hot water. It's been proven that it's not that, like it doesn't, clean them better or worse or anything like it's about the same so use cold water save energy okay all right i got one last thing and it's the duchess cup <laughs> this is for you ladies out there or you you people who bleed from downstairs what so this is great a you buy it once and you save money for the rest of your life you save so much money. People are like, oh, like tampons need to be free. Like they're so expensive. It's like, that's not gonna happen. Tampons are never gonna be free. But it's like, then buy this mother trucker. They are, they last forever. I don't understand. Also, they're better for your cooch because it's not bleached. It doesn't have like chemicals in it. It's just silicone and it works fine. You just have to kind of figure it out. Now I will say some people like anatomically, it doesn't work for them and I'm sorry, and maybe just get like organic tampons on, or pads or whatever you do. Or you can get like period underwear, but I'm just not for that. I use this. You just pour it out. It's not, it's not a big deal. This really doesn't have to be a big deal. I don't know why people are freaked out. I get it, it's maybe weird, but it doesn't have to be. There's also such a thing that I would like to get as like reusable panty liners because sometimes, which they did with tampons too, like there's a little bit of leakage if they get full. So I'm gonna get a reusable panty liner that are made of cotton that you just wash. And that way there's not so much plastic all the time. <sighs> this is a long video, I'm gonna cut it down. <laughs> but I just wanted to share some things with you that are super easy to make the change. And as you can still, as you can see, I'm still learning, like getting the bar of soap or 
not getting produce bags joke right off the gun and not researching a little bit and realizing maybe perforated produce bags are a little better. So I'm still learning and I would love advice from you guys. I would like to continue making videos about this. Not every week, not every single video, but it's something that I really, I want to do. But yeah, that's, those are some things that I've been using the past couple of weeks or months and I've really been liking it. So I hope this kind of inspired you guys to kind of make some small changes over time. You don't have to buy all this stuff at once. I wouldn't expect anyone to do that, but just over time to kind of slowly make a difference. So I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this was somewhat interesting and I won't ramble on too much next time because I just had to intro and get some stuff off my chest. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope this was interesting to you and I'll see you next time. Bye.